Hey everyone, welcome to day number 49 of We Rock Corona. My name is Valerie, I'm broadcasting from Buenos Aires in Argentina and it is my aim to infect you not with coronavirus but with love and joy and happiness so it makes it easier for you to get through this difficult time of home quarantine. Uh, every day I'm doing this I'm feeling like more and more peaceful and centered and just embracing the world and this community. I'm going to get to the dance in a second. It's going to be a beautiful dance about grounding yourself. Uh, before that I just want to say a huge thank you for everyone who is supporting my crowdfunding project on Kickstarter. It's called We Rock Corona and um, maybe it should be a bit more on the camera. And I'm so happy to be in touch with so many people now. Um, I feel like it's a big family just standing behind me and being on this crazy journey with me. And I want to say a special thank you to Willy <laughs> and also to a guest who donated uh, something. I don't know who you are, but thank you so much. Um, so as you know, we are in the Tango Week this week. So we are exploring some principles of Tango to put it into our dance practice and to learn something about life through that. Uh, today, as I said before, we want to ground ourselves. So I want to invite you uh, for a moment just to think what are the things that ground you right now in your life. Is it meditation? Is it writing a diary? Is it calling a friend? Is it just going to a spot where you can find some sunshine, maybe sitting at your window, listening to some music. So maybe bear that in mind while you do the dance and just take care of yourself. Like be aware that it's exactly these little things that we need right now to, to nourish ourselves and to, to get through quarantine okay. Uh, in terms of movement, to translate this principle into movement, we want to connect to the ground, to the earth today. So I chose the music which is called Tango Negro by Juan Carlos Caceres. Juan Carlos Caceres, I needed to look that up. Tango Negro because tango has African influences, has candomba influences. So it's very earthy, this dance we're doing today. So very, very simple as the music starts. I want you just to connect to the rhythm. Just like stay where you where you are right now in your room and just bounce with the rhythm. And as you connect it with the rhythm, we're going to put some music, uh, some movement into space. And when we do so, before you start moving through space, just imagine that you're like a tree and just let your whole weight drop into the ground. Just feel like how your bones are connected to the earth and, and feel this relaxation, this safety that comes with that. And then you would transfer, transfer the weight to one standing leg. So you really have a strong connection to the, to the ground. And then with this, and then we, you would project your other leg into any direction, forward, sidewards, backwards, diagonal, doesn't matter. And then in order to complete your step, you push from your standing leg just as you would be in a swimming pool and you want to swim away from the wall and you push the wall with your, with your feet. So if I imagine that I push, I... So that's how I go. I will demonstrate it in space for a second so you can observe it. Just watch. So I will stand. I will transfer my weight, have a strong connection to the ground and then I push and as I arrive, as I arrive to my new place, I again would relax into this feeling of grounding myself where I just arrived. And we're going to do this for the whole duration of the song, playing with this pushing, arriving, grounding, connecting, letting the weight drop and then go to the next go to the next space in the room and you can interrupt this anytime just to connect to the rhythm again 
to feel your heavy body, let your feel gravity, how, how your weight drops into the floor. And then you can again move and travel. So maybe sometimes we need to, we need to really arrive at our standing point before we are ready to explore and to travel again. Maybe this can also be like a metaphor for the dance. So ready to start? I'll put on the music in two, three, one, go. So remember we start connecting with the river. Easy. On your spot. Now we go. We push. Bata de fuego And you can choose your own river. leg and find your last balanced moment and let both of your feet drop in the ground feel safe feel secure feel grounded awesome work thank you for doing that with me I'd be curious how it was for you so if you want you can comment on YouTube you can join our we rock corona Facebook group and if you come, become a backer on Kickstarter, on kickstarter.com, you go to We Rock Corona, 
or you just click the comment, the first comment, then you find the direct link to the crowdfunding campaign, which ends on the 18th of May, so very, very soon. Uh, so if you become a backer, then you also get personal emails from me, some extra materials, some extra care, some extra love, an extra community. So um, it goes far beyond the money and in this case money really creates relationships which is something super beautiful to experience. Um, right, and I'm also a Biotango facilitator here in Buenos Aires. Obviously I can't work with real people right now, but I do offer my workshops online for groups, for individuals, and my aim is to teach tango, but uh, from a perspective of personal growth, self-development, like how can we see tango as our teacher to understand ourselves better, our character, our relationships with other people, with the world. So tango for me is like an amazing, amazing life teacher and um, using tools of biodanza for tango so that's why it's called bio tango right okay so thank you for watching this video please don't forget to go on kickstarter.com now and donate for we rock corona if you would like to have me survive this crisis <laughs> and if you enjoy these videos thank you so much and have a wonderful wonderful delicious outstanding exceptional weekend and i'll see you on monday